the Homeland Security Special Edition Maritime Security Report. I'm Anna Brooks. Security experts say that there is an urgent need to address the security threats that involve small vessels. Since the terrorist attacks of September 11, 2001, maritime security efforts have focused primarily on large commercial vessels. Efforts to address the small vessels have been largely limited to traditional safety and basic law enforcement concerns. Small vessels are, however, readily vulnerable to potential exploitation by terrorists, smugglers of weapons of mass destruction, narcotics, immigrants, contraband, and other criminals. Small vessels have also been successfully employed overseas by terrorists to deliver waterborne improvised explosive devices. Currently, the U.S. government has an incomplete knowledge of the international recreational boating public, their travel patterns, and the facilities they use. Couple this with the limited information available regarding fishing fleets and the multitude of small commercial vessels operating in or near U.S. waters, and the complexity of the issue becomes obvious. This is the reason why a new strategy is being developed now to address the problem. As part of their anti-piracy measures, many shipping companies now employ armed security guards aboard vessels that transit pirate waters. It is essential, however, that any company that takes this route understands the importance of selecting the right operators for its requirements and understands how best to work with the team to ensure maximum efficiency and integration with everyday operations on board ships. Experts say that once the guards are on board, they must be successfully integrated with the crew on both a personal and a professional level. Special courses like the one offered by VideoTel provide shipping companies and personnel on board ships with useful guidance on how to engage and work successfully with armed guards, from selecting them to the guards' disembarkation at the end of their deployment. On May 9th, American Customs and Border Protection officials launched an aerostat above the coast of Puerto Rico. The surveillance balloon's job is to use a radar to detect low-flying aircrafts, ships, and smaller vessels carrying drugs across the sea to the south. This is not the first time the island has been home to an aerostat. An earlier one crashed in a storm in 2011, and now it needs one again. The rising volume of drugs coming through the Caribbean is now an example of what's known as the balloon effect. The idea that increased pressure on one drug route produces a bulge elsewhere. Until recently, the favored northbound route for cocaine from South America was by small aircraft to Honduras. Planes fly first north, then west, to avoid Colombian airspace, and then the drugs move by land or other means via Central America and Mexico. Israel has become a major source for maritime unmanned systems. The world interests are now focused on the Katana a new unmanned surface vessel developed by Israel Aerospace Industries. Katana is compatible with various systems offered by IAI. The system's dual operational mode allows for fully autonomous operation controlled by an advanced command and control station, as well for a manned combat operational mode. It supports a wide range of applications, including harbor security, patrol of shallow coastal and territorial waters, surface and electronic warfare, and offshore platform protection. The Katana's features include autonomous navigation, collision avoidance, advanced control systems, and much more. The vessel is equipped with various payloads, radar, and weapon systems. Thank you for watching our special edition. See you at the same time, same place next week. And for further information, click the link below.